Hi, I'm Ron Miller. Today we're going to talk about independent medical exams in personal injury cases. To start, the idea of an independent medical exam by definition is a lie. There's nothing independent about an independent medical exam. We call them defense medical exams or DMEs. These exams are physicals conducted at the request of the defendant when the mental or physical condition of the plaintiff is put at issue in the case. So a DME comes into play in almost every serious injury lawsuit. Is a medical exam required? For cases that are in litigation, there's no automatic right for the defendant to get a medical exam. But with conditions, Maryland judges are going to allow defendants to have their medical experts review the, the plaintiff under Maryland Rule 2, 423. The battleground tends to be over the conditions of the exams. Ten years ago, our firm went to the Maryland's highest court to get new rules so we get the financial information on these experts. So many of the medical experts in these cases, in injury cases, particularly auto accident cases, are attached to the hip with the insurance companies because they pay them more money testifying and working for them than they make even their own medical practice. And listen, this is fine. Maryland law allows for this, except in medical malpractice cases. But we have a right to know how much they make. And we have a right not just take their word for it, to get the documents behind it. You know, we had a case, one of our lawyers had a case last month where the defense lawyers wanted to name an out-of-state expert so we could not subpoena the expert and get his financial information. The defense lawyer would negotiate. We either complied or he would file a motion. So he did, and we filed an opposition. And the court wisely said, you can't use an out-of-state expert to avoid our subpoena power. What should you do if you have a defense medical exam? If you're required to go to an independent medical exam, there are some good rules to follow. First, remember you're not talking to your doctor. You're talking to someone looking to accumulate evidence against you at trial. Still, be honest and consistent about your injuries and how they impacted you physically. Make sure you know when the exam began and ended and what the doctor says to you. When it comes to filling out the paperwork, we allow our clients to offer some very basic information, but your lawyer should see that paperwork before your visit. Finally, don't treat the doctor like the enemy. Is she the enemy? She might be, but don't treat her that way. Be kind and respectful. Still, should you keep your guard up? Absolutely, and answer only the question that's asked. These are my thoughts about so-called independent medical exams. If you have a lawyer, you want to speak to her before getting the exam and follow her advice. If you have questions, leave a comment to the video. If you go through the video notes, we have a lot of stuff for you, have sample motions and other information on IMEs. If you enjoyed this video and want to know when similar videos are coming out, click this button here and subscribe to our channel. If you have a pending case, I wish you the very best. And thanks for watching.